Life Audio. Thank you for listening to Your Daily Prayer, a podcast dedicated to helping you find the words you need to connect with your Father in Heaven. No matter what is going on in your life today, you can trust that God wants to hear from you. Right after this short word from our sponsor, we will pray through today's prayer together. The greatest red carpet you'll ever walk is through your front door. We're Dr. Josh and Christy Straub, marriage and leadership coaches and hosts of the Famous at Home podcast. With a realistic, grace-filled look at the struggles families face today, we cover topics designed to help you become a rock star under your roof, set healthy rhythms between work and home, and build a rock-solid marriage. To listen now, go to lifeaudio.com or search Famous at Home on your favorite podcast platform. A Prayer for the Busy Times, written and read by Alicia Searle. He says, Be still and know that I am God. I will be exalted among the nations, and I will be exalted in the earth. Psalms 46.10 It was 5.30 a.m. when I got the quick kiss and a I'll see you later goodbye from my sweet hubby as he rushed out the door to take our middle daughter to her softball tournament. I had another 30 minutes before it was my time to get going and I was going to soak in every minute of it. But when that alarm clock went off, my whole body groaned at the fact that it was now my time, and it was one of those weekends, the divide-and-conquer weekends. I was tired, tired of being immersed in this crazy season of life. When my oldest came in our bedroom with her softball socks in one hand and her softball bag in the other, I knew I had to face my fate of the day. I forced myself out of bed, woke up our little one, and we piled in the car, heading in the opposite direction for her tournament. This season of our lives is super busy. While we've had multiple talks on how to slow down, how to rearrange our schedule, or how to make more time for our daughters and for us, we still end up here, busy, right back at square one, running around from event to event with our teen daughters, helping them live their best life. Unfortunately, Time is one thing we can never get back. So my husband and I have managed to see this season for what it is. The, I'll meet you on the couch at 10 p.m. so we can hold hands and fall into a heap together season. Our daughters need us. Our families need us. We both have careers with deadlines, church obligations, and so many other things that pull us apart in so many different directions. And while we aim for date nights and the occasional alone time, we have learned that prayer is our immediate lifeline. We can always get through the day when we pray. The other night, while we were together on our usual spot, the couch, my husband looked over to me and said, I wouldn't want to do this crazy busy life with anyone else. And while many days I want to throw in the towel, I would have to agree. I wouldn't want to do this with anyone else either. Then we sat in the silence and soaked in the peace of that moment. Let's pray. Oh, Lord. We come before you in the season of endless parenting demands, and we ask that you relieve our burdens. Be with us, Lord, as we are so tired. We know that you are a good father, and you will sustain us during this season. So we invite you into our busy lives and ask that you grant us peace and settle our hearts. As we strive to do our best and juggle it all while pouring love into our children and marriages, we ask that we set our sights on you. Be there and be our guide. Show us your presence as you breathe a little bit of life and calm into our chaos. Deliver peace as only you can as we find pockets of time when we can rest and lean in on you. Give us strength to endure each day as you walk beside us, leading and protecting our family as we all disperse in different directions. Gracious God, We must admit that we aren't always good at knowing how to organize our our schedules and can fill them up rather quickly with unnecessary things. We ask that you please show us where we can use our time more efficiently and wisely as we long to honor you with our time. 
O God, you tell us to be still and know. Psalms 46.10 But it can be so difficult to find those moments to be still. We can also fall into the traps of seeking stillness and peace that we don't even recognize the times when they're given to us. When we are at games or at events, help us find ways to slip away and get quiet with you. Those moments are so precious to us, Lord. We thank you for your unfailing love and for granting us time in our day to see you everywhere. We pray we take notice and look up. Amen. Your Daily Prayer is a production of Life Audio and Salem Media. If you liked what you heard today, please take a second to rate and review this podcast in your favorite podcast app so that more listeners like you can find the show. For more faith-filled, inspirational podcasts, visit us at lifeaudio.com. Our world can feel chaotic and uncertain. But we don't have to live enslaved to fear. Christ has promised you and I his peace, and throughout scripture, he has provided powerful truths and practical steps to help us experience greater freedom. I'm Jennifer Slattery, lead host of the Faith Over Fear podcast, inviting you to join me and my team as together we learn how to starve our fears and grow our faith. Subscribe at lifeaudio.com.